What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Von, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. Now, this is going to be some more Mr. Beast content that I uh, react to because I do like Mr. Beast content, but this is actually on another channel that Mr. Beast had has, and this channel is called Beast Phil Philanthropy. I don't know how to say that word, philanthropy. I think that's how you say it. But um, I've never seen a video on this channel. I didn't even know that he had another channel that he dropped videos on like this. So we better to check it out. This one is called 30 Lamborghinis versus 10,000 people. So I wonder exactly what they're trying to reference with that. Um, the original video will always be in the description down below. While you guys are down there, if you like to follow me on my new gaming channel, I would appreciate that. Only subscribe if you guys are into the gaming content. Please, I am separating the two. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. That way you do not miss any of the uploads over here on the Bonds POV channel. And thank you guys for the continued support. And without further ado, let's check out Mr. Beast 30 Lamborghinis versus 10,000 people. If I give you the choice to either buy 30 Lamborghinis or help save the lives of 10,000 people in one year, which would you choose? Oh, damn. Damn, 30 Lamborghinis. <laughs> Where's the keys? <laughs> Let me see. We decided to do this. Cue the epic highlight reel of the year. <laughs> We started this mission in Kailicha, South Africa, where we found an orphanage that was in Okay, I changed my mind about the 30 Lamborghinis, guys, okay? Down. If I can help my Instead people, I'm gonna help my people. I saved more than 5,330 children. Those children would be dead, but we keep on opening the doors, knowing that maybe someone will come to our rescue, like this philanthropy. So we spent the next six months working tirelessly by rebuilding Damn. 12 new homes with an ongoing supply of fresh food as well as a brand new playground. Well, the now that playground looked lit, I ain't gonna lie. Next project where we gave away 20,000 pairs of shoes to kids in Africa. This let me. What you have done here at my school is absolutely Man, this crazy. is crazy. Like, this is, like, it's crazy actually seeing, like, this, seeing this right now, like, reacting to this is crazy. Like, Cause you don't, I don't, I don't be on social media a lot, so I don't see a lot of this stuff like that no more. Not like I used to as a kid growing up, but like it's this stuff is all over the world still, which is insane. Darren then flew to the Hopi Reservation in Arizona, where he met with Wendy. I need to visit out the country for real. There are over ten thousand members of the Hopi tribe. These people don't have very. Much These are Indian people. Some of the most generous people you'll ever meet. The Hopi tribe is situated Hopi, hundreds Hopi of miles tribe. away from the closest quality clothing and food stores, which is bad because the winters here get freezing cold, and they need oh, the hell no, they to build different. and put food on. I can deal with the Would cold, but outside like that in the cold? Hell to get no. Access to these basic hell necessities. No. We decided to donate over two point seven million dollars of clothing. Damn. It was amazing. Our, our kids. Our people are just so happy. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast content is always fire, bro. A like. high number of amputees throughout Cambodia. So we partnered with Exceed Worldwide to give away 2,000 prosthetic limbs. What we've experienced is that it's so much more than a limb. We're giving back people their independence. But most important, I realize that- You never know what somebody's going through, through, man. This shit's crazy. <laughs> no, Seeing this kind of shit. Thank you. It really Dude, like when I, when I see this kind of stuff too, like reacting to this, like it really makes me sit here and think, like, cause like I be I be like feeling I be like complaining about like just shit. I feel like I shouldn't even complain about sometimes. Like I be thinking like, damn, bro, like I really am blessed though. Like I have blessings. Like why am I complaining about this or that? Like so seeing this just opened up my eyes, for, you know, from a different, you know, seeing stuff from a different perspective that it could be things could be a lot worse, you know. And Dan then flew to a remote island in Colombia where they capsized a boat and fell in a river filled with crocodiles. While they were there, they I would never do that. I can't swim anyway, so I would struggle. For the first time, which will give the kids on the island the ability to access education online. We also built a bakery that's, that's to empower the like woman late. in this community, which from day one was a hit. We then traveled to Kenya, where fresh drinking water is extremely scarce. I am a father of six children, and I want to be the best father of all. That's why I work so hard. 
me did my bread. My bicycle went with us no gears. One of the pedals is not there. The brakes are not 100% working. Sometimes I think if I could take motorbike engine and put to my bicycle, my life could be easier. So with the help of Damn. electric e-bikes, we were able to provide Mr. Barasa and 1,000 other people with free electric bicycles. We have made work easier. It's so easy to ride. Darren and Dan huh. then traveled to the Cure Children's Hospital in the Philippines, where we were able to provide 160 kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like that. Like, that looked crazy. Okay, I need to see that again. Traveled to the Cure Children's Hospital in the Philippines, where we were able to provide 160. Oh my gosh, bro. I feel so bad. Like, that, is, that, is, that is that is that is crazy. This little girl bro. has just got her cast off, and she's learning to walk for the first time ever with her straight legs. <laughs> Damn, bro! I ain't gonna lie. Seeing this kind of shit like hurting, bro. Like, the magnitude oh my God. of the surgeries that these kids are getting from Cure for Free will change their lives. And the fact that Beast Philanthropy can come in here and help Cure provide care to some of these kids is something that's going to affect me and stay with me for the rest of my life. Like the seeing it kind of like hurts. South Africa it's hurting my body in a way. It's like making Mama me Rosie feel like, oh, mm, I couldn't even imagine, bro. I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Them kids late now. <laughs> Mama Rosie also told us about a boy named Yamkala who left the orphanage 14 years ago with the dreams of becoming a musician. However, he was struggling to make money and practice his craft, working full time at the airport. It kills me knowing that I'm doing something that I'm not into and there is something that I want to do that I really love, but I cannot do it. So we decided to surprise Yamkala with a brand new top of the range acoustic guitar, as well as award him a full scholarship to the best music school in the country. See you in a year. The team then flew to Thailand, yeah. a country with over 2 million stray and disabled dogs, oh, man. to meet Here with Michael go. and help him rescue as many dogs Here as possible. Here we go, man. Oh my gosh. Where we helped thousands of dogs run for the very first time. Bro. Time. <laughs> Who's cutting onions in here? I ain't gonna react to this Mr. Beast content. It's like this, guys. I love, I love dogs. Like, I love it. I, I'm an animal lover for sure. You guys know as this. As well as give Michael a brand new rescue van, state of the art gas machine, and a brand new ambulance. Really happy. <laughs> Darren then received this video from a TikToker named Dora Muno. And God bless that guy for, for being a guy that helps all the animals, man. So Darren immediately flew to Dora's sanctuary in Zambia, which had absolutely no electricity and is located in a dangerous area with high rates of domestic violence. It became evident that I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like doing this, like, like thinking about it, like traveling places and just helping people like this, that would actually be fun to do. Like that would that would that would actually be enjoyable, enjoyable because I know it would probably be exhausting, but like you helping people is going to, it, it, first of all, helping people is just, you know, generous in any kind of way, shape or form anyway, but I'm sure it gives you an amazing feeling. Anytime I, I'm able to help somebody, even when I feel like I don't have something and I still can help in some way, it makes me feel really good. But like you would also be experiencing the traveling while helping people instead of like, like me just thinking about it, like, you know, most of the time I'm just you know, playing my game, doing what I'm doing, you know, smoking my weed, like just chilling, doing what I'm doing. Like, you know, my my me time, which like, is, is that selfish in a way if you could be out there helping people? You know what I mean? Like holding them back and severely curtailing Dora's ability to help develop this village to what its potential could be. Having to wake up thinking, what will these kids eat? That is still very difficult to do each and every day. So we came up with a plan to use the direct sunlight and scorching heat to our advantage by installing a massive solar grid that will provide electricity to the entire oh, village. Oh, damn. It was then time to turn on the lights and the kids couldn't contain their excitement. Mateo, turn on the lights. 
Oh yeah, it ain't lit. <laughs> it ain't lit. found out about a college kid in Philadelphia that is rescuing thousands of pounds of food every month because of his school meal swipes. I originally started just as a student with leftover meal swipes in my dining account and I realized as I was getting close to the end of the term I have 50 meals left that I know I'm not going to be able to use and I just had a pit in my stomach thinking about all of those meals going to waste. So Darren flew there to meet him and help expand his operation to a national scale. After witnessing everything that Evan had done to help this community, it didn't take but an hour to know that we had committed to partnering with Sharing Excess to help them achieve their goal of feeding as many people as possible. And with our help, Sharing Excess were able to open an operation at Hunts Point Produce Market, the largest produce market. Man, this guy dedicated his life to that. And that operation is going to be three times larger than the one that we have in Philly. Next, Darren and Dan Damn. travel to the heart of Cameroon, where thousands of children at this school have to share a single toilet and have They actually have a dress code? I didn't, I didn't think that. This conditions. I'm surprised that they have dress code out somewhere like that. Like, that's, this is no different dignity. to see. These conditions will not make a child believe that the future is Right. Once we saw this, of we knew not. we had of to do not. something. So almost immediately, we started drawing up plans to begin construction. And a few months later, the brand new classrooms were built, just in time to surprise the kids before they returned from their holidays. It's a beautiful thing to see, man. Lastly, we flew to Nepal for a secret project that will be. I like how this video year. is just like but continuously on that mission, going Dan and going. And like, to it's straight to the point. Like, we did this, we did that. This, video where the this is how we did it. This is where we did it. Darren and I are at the highest point we've ever been together. It's been one hell of a year. You know, we've been working together just one year. And look where we are on top of the world. Hey, one good year can change your whole life. Remember that. That's my Actually, mindset. That's my mindset this week. And I wouldn't yeah. share this experience with anybody else, man. Send this to any billionaires you know and tell them to stop buying cars and instead help people. <laughs> Mr. B standing on business. Hold on. Y'all, he just hear what he just said. He said, send this to any billionaires you know and tell them to stop buying cars and start helping people. Hey, Mr. Beast, bro. He's a good guy. I ain't gonna lie. I, Mr. B, he, 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 that's a good guy, okay? Original video will always be in the description down below. While you guys are down there, if you would like to follow me on my new gaming channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you, guys. If you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, also, please let me know. And that does it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.